property diagrams of phase change processes so we have three types of property diagrams that we will cover for this module which is tv diagram pv diagram and pt diagram okay so the variations of properties during phase change processes are best studied using property diagrams for pure substances okay so this is the examples of diagram of tv diagram okay so this is a tv diagram of constant pressure phase change processes of water pure substance at various pressure this is coming from the book of channel 6 edition so as you can see this is t temperature versus specific volume eh, meter cube over kilogram specific volume volume over mass so we have uh, we have a few lines of uh, this is a pressure lines right and eh? pressure uh, pre different pressure lines okay we have uh, we have uh, uh, at the uh, at the mm, at, uh, below eh? and from the uh, the below uh, we have lower pressure 0 0.01 megapascal and uh, when and eh, from here from below to the top okay from below to the top so uh, we have different pressure and the uh, the value of the pressure is also increased eh? from 0 0.01 until 25 megapascal and also you can see from here we have different pressure line at here okay different value pressure line so this is what we call as saturated liquid point okay uh, this is the point when it started to and uh, t t um uh, when when the t is starting to um what you call it maintain uh, at the same temperature uh, t temperature is constant uh, temperature is constant when the t temp started to uh, to be constant at here we call it saturated liquid point so at p equals to 0 0.01 megapascal this is the saturated liquid point uh, this is saturated liquid point for p equals to 0 0.1 megapascal so we have different point at the for different uh, pressure value okay Okay, and this is uh, this is saturated vapor point when the so this is remaining constant, right? So this is when the temperature starting to increase. Okay, start to change again. Okay, so we call it as saturated vapor, and it is different at different for different pressure uh, lines. Okay, so this is a what we call as critical point. Okay. Critical, critical point uh, is at the value of a uh, specific volume of 0 0.003106 meter cube uh, per kg at temperature of 373.95 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, so what's the uh, uh, um, the critical point occurs for at the pressure of 22.06 megapascal. Okay, so this is also important. You need to know uh, uh, what is the value of critical point for the water. Okay. Okay. At supercritical pressures, when the P is bigger than P critical, okay, there is no distinct uh, phase change process. So remember the critical point just now. Okay. Critical point at here and P equals to 22.06 megapascal at this uh, at uh, 373.95 degree celsius uh, at this uh, specific volume so the p bigger than p critical okay pressure uh, when the uh, it is called a super critical pressures eh? uh, above more than p uh, critical point at here so th this is 22.06 so for the bigger pressure than P critical, it is called a supercritical pressure. Eh? There is no distinct phase change processes. No distinct phase change process. So it means we don't have exact uh, actual uh, saturated liquid line uh, and saturated liquid uh, saturated vapor uh, point. Eh? Saturated liquid point and saturated vapor point. Okay, for supercritical pressures. So critical point is the point at which the saturated liquid and saturated vapor states are identical. See, we don't have saturated liquid point. Uh, we don't have saturated vapor point. We have the same. Okay, we have the same 
saturated liquid and saturated vapor point at here. So this is what we call as critical point. For this one, we have no, we have no uh, saturated liquid and saturated uh, vapor point for the pressure above the pure critical at here. Okay, so this is also important. So this is a uh, uh, just to show the region. Eh? The TV diagram of a pure substance. So remember, uh, okay. So this is the things that we uh, have showed you uh, just now. Okay. So we have a few pressure line at here, a different pressure line at here. So as you can see from the previous this one, previous uh, TV diagram. If we draw, we uh, connect the point, okay, all the points of saturated liquid, okay, and then going down, saturated vapor point, okay, so we will get this curve, okay. TV diagram of a pure substance, this is the curve uh, which connects all the saturated liquid points just now, we will call it a saturated liquid line, okay. From here until here, saturated liquid line, okay. So after uh, and then after the critical point at here going down, uh, so at this this uh, re, uh, this is what we call a saturated vapor line, okay. So this is the region of compressed liquid, okay. Compressed liquid. Uh, this is what we call a saturated liquid vapor region. So where where we have the mixture of liquid plus vapor at here, okay. Uh, below the curve. Okay, the region below the curve we call a saturated liquid vapor region. So this is the region of superheated vapor region. Okay, outside of the curve on this side, eh? 